Dr. Kim, one of the great advantages of scenarios has often been forgotten lately. The original reason for creating scenarios at the Rand Corporation by Herman Kahn was to find out what you didn't know about future possibilities that you didn't even know that you didn't know, but you should know. For example, any writer will tell you when they write a story, there's a point at which they stop and go, I have no idea what's going to happen next. When you do future scenarios, future population, future technology, whatever, as you write the story, you get to a point that says, I have no idea what happens next. Or something to do a cause and effect link, because a scenario is a story, just like a movie story, with cause and effect links and decisions and people and characters that have to make sense in some sort of sequence. Now, you're not, you don't know the truth of the future, so a scenario is not telling you the truth, but it's telling you what's plausible. So when you write a plausible story, you get to a point to say, I have no idea what's next. I just wrote some scenarios, as you know, on the future work and technology. And in one of the scenarios, there was guaranteed income. Well, I had to put in there when it starts and how it would be financially sustainable. Well, I needed a cash flow projection. So I checked Finland and I checked uh, the Switzerland and I checked all these people around the world that supposedly are working on this. I said, where's the cash flow projection? I found out nobody had it. So I found out that I didn't know that no one knew what they were talking about on financial sustainability. So this is an important part of the scenario. It's not necessarily the end point. It's the process of writing it. So the futurist and the, and the corporate people that you're working with they should write the scenario and find, and, and, and their colleagues should challenge and say, wait a minute, that doesn't make sense. You can't go from that to that without some new law or some new regulation or something. You have to have something in the middle. And how is that going to happen? So the discussion about what are the pause, plausible cause and effect links while you're writing it is the important part of a scenario to find out what you didn't know that you didn't even know to ask so you won't be blindsided by future events. And that's one of the parts of scenario work that is too often forgotten when we talk about two uncertainties, high and low on each, making a four by four grid. Because there you're talking about endpoints of a scenario and how your strategy is robust in each. But how did you get there? What's all the cause and effect links getting there? So that's what I would suggest you include in your thinking.